Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the 101 ways that your Tesla got better in 2020. Let's get started. One of the unique things about owning a Tesla is that your car gets better over time. And Tesla does this by releasing software updates on a pretty regular schedule. Before we get too deep into this video, I just want to talk about a couple of things to help with the context. So first off, I have an example here of a Tesla software update uh, number, if you will. So they number them as uh, 2020.48.30.1 in this particular example that I just uh, made here just for context. Now there isn't a 30.1 for you super sleuths out there. I do know that. This is just an example. <laughs> so 2020 is the year, obviously. 48 is the week the update began development. 11 is a major update, which typically adds features. And the one in this example would be a minor update, which is typically just a bug fix. So that's how the versioning works, just so you have that context. Let's start with some really high level metrics because this is really impressive when you think about it. So there were 17 total development week releases and within those 78 major updates. So 78 major updates that brought multiple features. Uh, so usually it's not one feature per update. Tesla usually throws in multiple features per update. 53 minor updates. So those would be your bug fixes, that type of thing and 101 feature enhancements. And that's the key right there. That's your Tesla got better um, with 101 either new features or enhancements to existing features. And again, this is something that you that is unique to Tesla. You just do not see this with other manufacturers. Now, the other thing too, just before I go off of this slide is that you don't always get every single one of these updates. Sometimes the updates are targeted either at a specific vehicle or they might be targeted as at a specific geography. Uh, for example, some releases to the China market, um, you know, some releases that go maybe only to the Model S or X and not the Model Y or 3. So there's all sorts of reasons why you didn't actually get a 78 plus 53 um, actual updates this year. I mean, you begin an update just about every three days if that was the case. So I just wanted to explain that particular bit. All right. So the purpose of me going through this is just for context for you to see just how many feature enhancements you've actually received over the past year. And it's not my intention to go deep dive into each one of these features. Uh, we would be here all day. So I just want to give kind of the flavor of it, if you will, so that you can see, wow, you know, I really got a lot of added value uh, for my Tesla over the past year in ways that I just wouldn't get with another brand. So let's get started. So 2020.48 brought a huge number of features. It's the most recent one. A little bit of controversy around this one because um, we were promised fire, if you recall, from Elon's tweet. And a lot of people, a lot of owners were kind of let down that uh, it wasn't quite the fire everyone was expecting. Not everybody got boombox in terms of a feature. There were some other things that were talked about that just did not make the release. When people ask me, you know, am I upset about this uh, release 48? And the answer is no, I'm not. Um, I think if you, you have to reframe things and get away from the hype, and I agree, it should not have been hype, but it was. If you think about it in the context of just a regular update, you'd be super happy with all these features, um, right? So that's kind of the frame of mind that I try to think about it as, is that this was just you know, any other type of release, and it happened to be a pretty meaty one if you forget about the hype. All right, so a number of things, some games, visualization improvements, um, scheduled departure improvements, the fart mode improvements, uh, all sorts of different things that um, have added value to your vehicle. So it, it actually makes it on two slides. So um, yeah, there's just so many to, to go over. We just don't have time to go through every single one of them. But the point being is that you've received a number of, of uh, feature enhancements in that release number 48. Uh, 44 brought some features as well. So auto speed, autopilot speed, ah, I can't speak today. 
autopilot set speed, which gives you some flexibility in how you can control the um, the speed of the vehicle when you toggle on autopilot. For example, you can use a percentage offset or um, you know a, a number of you know an actual number offset, like you know, five miles per hour over the speed limit or something like that. Spotify improvements, this was really something that a lot of people were waiting for. Uh, the user experience is just so much better now. And then of course, you know, a bunch of other stuff you see there, 2020.40. And again, we see some uh, really critical stuff like full self-driving beta, um, you know, arrived in, in this particular release. That's a pretty awesome one. Priority Bluetooth device. Uh, this one saved a lot of fights between me and my wife because <laughs> my phone was always taking priority over hers. And uh, when she took the car, uh, she wasn't happy about that because I don't know she'd be in the garage trying to do something and was picking up my phone in the house. So that's a really great feature. Uh, 2020 39. Sometimes there's a number of releases that uh, have no release notes. You've probably noticed that. And these are just simply bug fixes. And sometimes they're um, an actual development cycle of, uh, of um, you know, of a weekly, not a weekly, they kind of are on a four-week kind of cadence of creating these development cycles. But this particular one was just all bug fixes and no release notes. 2020.36, again, this is another really meaty one. Uh, traffic like and, and stop sign control that actually you know came in a previous release. Uh, so a number of times what they'll do is they'll iterate on features that they've released previously. So I included these as well just because they were um, enhancements to the features that were big enough. I think that they belong on this list. And uh, yeah, a couple other ones that I really liked from this was the green uh, traffic light chime. So you're sitting there, um, you know, waiting for the light to change. And when it goes green, it gives you a little chime uh, just to, you know, if you kind of daze and off a little bit, um, which you probably shouldn't be doing while you're driving, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes that little ding uh, reminder just helps you to get going. Um, all right, and uh, yeah, so pedestrian warning also came in this particular release. So that was a pretty meaty one. So uh, dot 35, again, bug fixes, no release notes. Dot 32, uh, serious uh, XM improvements for those of you that have it. I think that's mainly the earlier model S and Xs with MCU1, uh, I believe. So. Uh, let's see, what else did we have here? That was cool, the dynamic brake lights. Uh, so, you know, if you slow down quickly, they'll flash and just a number of other things that uh, are more safety features. So that's pretty cool. Uh, closed windows on lock, I really like that one. Um, yeah, and third-party charging stations. I'm not sure if that was something specifically for the uh, Chinese market, but um, I seem to recall it might be. 2020.28. Uh, did I make a mistake here? Nope. So <laughs> looks like they did a couple of XM radio improvements. Since I don't have it, our Model X has um, has MCU2, so I do not have Sirius XM. And yeah, so I'm just assuming there'll be some improvements there if you had it. Traffic light and stop sign control. Again, you know, this is an iteration of some other uh, features that were previously released. What else was in here that I really liked? Oh, who can forget about Tesla Arcade? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, dot 27, bug fixes, no release notes. And 2020.24 brought, wow, a lot of Sirius XM improvements, unless I keep making a mistake, I don't know. Uh, I had a you know source for all of this information, which I will put in the description, just so that everybody has it. Uh, just there's a website that's been collecting all of this data. There's a few websites, but I took it from one in particular. So I will um, link that uh, below in the description. Uh, driving visualization improvements. Uh, that was cool. Dash cam viewer improvements. Those are always welcome. The easier you can access your dash cam footage. I'm waiting for uh, the release where you can actually see your dash cam footage on your app. Apparently that is coming. All right. Moving on to dot 24, walk away door lock improvements. Uh, again, this was a, a really excellent one. Um, I mean, it, it always worked okay for me, but I found after this release, it was pretty you know rock solid in terms of how it works. Um, yeah, 
cabin camera. Did they actually enable that? Mm. I think that was unlimited though. There should be beta next to that, the cabin camera. Okay, uh, 2020.20. And this is, I think, the release where it became available to uh, US only for the traffic light and stop sign control because it was a, the way they rolled it out was to US only. And then they broadened the, the release to other countries, very similar to how they're doing the FSD beta as well. So it'd be interesting to kind of chart that uh, course over over a timeline to see, you know, how long did that beta run before it you know, was rolled out to other countries? Probably should have done that for this video, shouldn't I? <laughs> I just thought of it, though. OK, um, Fallout Shelter. So that's a game, uh, theater mode improvements and uh, tracks improvements. That's the music. Um, you can create music in your car while you're you know, waiting for somebody or something. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people like that. Okay. Uh, 2020.16, uh, navigate on autopilot beta. I believe this was the release for the Chinese market. Uh, Tesla toy box. So some changes in, in the UI and how you access some of the uh, entertainment features and uh, other similar features like fart out and stuff like that. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's keep going here. So 2020.12, uh, this was the early release of the traffic light and stop sign control. So uh, some really early adopters, probably in the Tesla, um, they have some type of uh, beta program that is uh, prior to public beta. And uh, I think that's when they would have received that. Dash cam viewer, again, that, that's, that was like, that was just so awesome because before you had to take your USB uh, out of the car or your SSD or whatever it is you're using and attach it to your computer just to see, um, <laughs> you know, any of the footage. So pretty happy with that. Uh, 2020.11, bug fixes, no release notes. 2020.8, uh, here we have, um, you know, some more uh, improvements. Track mode, I don't have one of the performance vehicles, so I don't know what those improvements were, but I'm assuming they were probably... Uh, you know, good ones for those of you who have a performance model three or model Y. I'm kind of jealous, but okay. Um, Bluetooth improvements. Uh, I can't remember specifically what that was, but uh, Bluetooth reliability is is pretty solid. Uh, regenerative braking. I, I put this one in brackets because you know there's just been so many features that have been added or enhanced in this type of thing. I want to say that was the one pedal driving for the model three uh, and model Y. So. Okay, let's keep going. 2020.5, bug fixes, no release notes. 2020.4, there's a lot of things added here for the Chinese market. Um, I'm not sure what air quality index and weather is and whether that was a Chinese market thing as well. Maps improvements, QR code for Tesla service and additional vehicle information. I think that's when you were, when you're in your settings and you can click on additional vehicle information. It'll tell you things like which, um, computer you have, like if you have the FSD computer uh, or, you know, what version of the MCU you have. And the way you can tell on that one is if it's an Atom processor, then it's MCU 2. If it's not an Atom processor, then it's MCU 1, which I think was NVIDIA. And that's that's it. So so the purpose of this is I just want to run through because when I started researching uh, prior to making this video, I knew there had been a lot of feature updates and enhancements, but I didn't realize just how many. So I wanted to do this video just so anyone who doesn't already know or prospective buyers of Teslas who are just curious is that you get a lot of features added to your vehicle every year. And that is something, again, that's unique to Tesla and it just improves the ownership experience. So I wanted to share this with you because I thought uh, everyone might find this interesting just to see how many of these um, enhancements there were. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, Tesla Connect, over now.